The Shark Tank Effect – How Small Businesses Are Thriving After Appearing on the Show Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Shark Tank Effect – How Small Businesses Are Thriving After Appearing on the Show. Let's get right into it. Since it's premiered in 2009, Shark Tank has been a compelling reality TV series on ABC that offers entrepreneurs a powerful way to expand their businesses. While also providing excellent entertainment for viewers, the show features contestants pitching their products to a group of investors and business moguls known as the Sharks, hoping to secure an investment. As the Sharks probe the entrepreneurs on their business model, revenue, scalability, and negotiate significant portions of equity in exchange for cash offers, the tensions can be palpable from the comfort of one's couch. The show becomes even more engaging when the Sharks argue amongst themselves about their offers or receive sassy pushback from the entrepreneurs. However, the highlight of the show is undoubtedly the exposure to the wild and inventive ideas pitched by the contestants. If you've ever found yourself compelled to search up a company after watching Shark Tank, you're not alone. In fact, there's even a term for it, the Shark Tank Effect. Being featured on Shark Tank not only provides entrepreneurs with an opportunity to raise capital, but it also offers free national publicity. Numerous entrepreneurs who have appeared on Shark Tank have seen significant increases in traffic, revenue, and customer base, even if they didn't receive a deal with one of the sharks. Let's take a look at 5 Shark Tank entrepreneurs who understand precisely how their appearance on the show impacted their businesses. Number 1. Bedley Lola Ogden, the founder of Bedley, believed that appearing on Shark Tank was a fantastic opportunity to introduce her company to the world, even though she wasn't entirely prepared. Despite the shark's concerns about Bedley's packaging, which didn't effectively display its unique design, Ogden viewed the feedback as constructive criticism and an opportunity for growth. Even though Bedley did not secure a deal, the company gained significant exposure, leading to increased sales and a more extensive customer base. Bedley's newfound popularity even allowed the company to ship internationally and helped Ogden connect with customers who struggle with illnesses or disabilities that make it challenging to make their beds independently. Despite not getting an investment from the Sharks, Ogden believes that the exposure and feedback she received from the show helped her company succeed. Number 2. Pet Plate Ronaldo Webb, the founder of Pet Plate, was disappointed when he didn't secure a deal on Shark Tank. However, he didn't let the rejection stop him from pursuing his dream of providing healthy meals personalized to dogs' dietary needs. Webb used the Sharks' feedback to reevaluate Pet Plate's business model and pivot to delivering boxes of pre portioned meals that could be stored in the refrigerator and freezer. Despite not receiving a deal, Pet Plate received national exposure, which helped the company raise over $30 million in investments and expand its shipping nationwide. For Webb, the most significant benefit of appearing on Shark Tank was the visibility it brought to his business. Number 3. Nopalera During her appearance on Shark Tank, Nopalera founder Sandra Velasquez received offers from Kevin O'Leary and guest shark Daniel Lubetsky. However, she turned them down because they wanted too much equity in exchange for investment. When Damon John criticized her for not negotiating, Velasquez stood her ground, stating that she didn't want to undervalue herself or her company. Her decision paid off. Nopalera received 6,000 orders in 11 days and made over $300,000 in sales after the show aired. Velasquez later raised $2.7 million in investment. For her, declining the offers was not only about defending her self-worth as an entrepreneur, but also about representing the Latino community. She wanted to show that there are always more opportunities available, and declining one offer doesn't mean it's the end. Number 4. Sienna Sauce Sienna Sauce, founded by 16-year-old Tyler Simone Creighton, appeared on Shark Tank and made a handshake deal with guest shark Kendra Scott for $100,000 for 20%. The exposure from the show brought in a flood of orders and sales, with Sienna Sauce earning $300,000 in sales overnight. The national exposure also led to Sienna Sauce being sold in Target, HEB, World Market, and expanding to 500 Wegmans locations. For Creighton, the experience taught her the importance of staying strong in her convictions and standing up for herself and her business, which she demonstrated when she countered Scott's offer. The appearance on Shark Tank helped legitimize Sienna Sauce and gave Creighton more credibility as a young entrepreneur. Number 5. Tentacle Hans Dose, the founder of Tentacle, recalls feeling anxious before going to Shark Tank with only $39 in his bank account and an octopus inflatable in tow, but he decided to have fun with it and let go. Tentacle is a mount that can be attached to almost any surface using tentacle-like suction cups. Dose was able to secure a deal with Damon John, which helped him pay off his debt and gain a new sales team. Dose believes that vulnerability is one of the most valuable assets in business. Since appearing on Shark Tank in 2021, Tentacle has made over $4 million in revenue and has surpassed the seven-figure mark for annual sales. 
Appearing on Shark Tank can be a game changer for a business in several ways. The exposure gained from being on the show can lead to significant growth and opportunities. Even if a deal with a shark is not made, the publicity generated from appearing on the show can attract new customers and investors. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.